creating these what ifs, right? I'd like to have an ArcolNet with ChatWM. It's fun. Then you go to VirtualBox, make a copy of your template. You can clone it to whatever name you like, but just keep it simple. And then it's going to be your ISO. That is still so very much possible. Right? You build whatever you like. We give you all the code. We give you all the expertise. What will you get? What will you create? Up to you. Always the same workflow, like 30 desktops. Add one desktop, two desktops, 30 desktops to Arconet and see what you get. You can do it online. And the idea was, let's burn it on the ISO so that I can go to the beach with my laptop, with my USB and just install it. Come back and link to the internet. Update. Done. So now we have to think very carefully. The way these things are set up now are easy installation is offline. So basically what you see is what you get. Does that mean we have changed something? We have changed something. We have added chat WM desktop with all the applications it entails on the ISO. That means at some point in time, right, Calamari is gonna just move the squashed image, the bits and the bytes, which include ChatWM, to the future system. This is probably the best way to move forward because this was intentional. We want to have next time around, I'm on the beach, easy installation, no internet required, this is why we created it. But if we rethink it, if you go for advanced installation, then we will also start with the image. We copy paste the bits and the bytes. But advanced installation, there we remove XFCE. And if that's okay with you, that's fine. We're not removing ChatWM. But removing XFC is removing bits and pieces of ChatWM. Thunar is gone, right? That's not good. Um, power manager, right? XFC, it's gone. The terminal, it's gone. Task manager, gone. So it would be strange to use it like this with online, unless, of course, you go back inside and say, I want to have XFC as well, and, and, and so on, and then everything is back as it was. But I wouldn't advise that, it's complicated. Just the idea was how big is the ISO, that's something we should check also. Not a lot, because Trilingue Winner Manager doesn't require a lot of um, megabytes. But um, the idea is, can we build ourselves an ISO just for me? for the beach, for the desert. There is no internet. And of course, then this is the approach, offline. And all the information and the XFCE things, well, I showed you this one. So you know already that's available, right? The application is there, but this thing requires Alex appearance as well. Rufi as well, what else? I think we launch as well. So I'm just going in my head, looking in my head for what? The content of the previous video of Calamari's configuration. How does one build, build a chat WM desktop? It's going to look for these packages. This is how you install chat WM. So Rofi, check, right? EWM, check. Lolcat is there as well. Pykim is there as well. Alex Appearance, and so on. All these guys 
or on the ISO, as you can see. So this is the approach I would suggest. And regarding the size, regarding the size, the shared core team. So this is the size, 3.0. And what we've built, what we have built is this one, 2.1, right? Now this is just a round off thing to have it more correct, 3321. 3321, going to this one. I <laughs> ah, move. 3267. So from 267, that's let's say 30 plus 1, 400 megabyte. Yeah, all these packages do cost us a little bit of space. So there you are. What do we have? Where are you? He's still installing. So let's pause and check if everything works. Already finished. Let's restart. We're at the beach. We burnt our, our ISO in advance. And we said, okay, let's add a tiling window manager to XFCE because many of the tiling window managers actually use XFC, which does make sense to keep it around as a fail safe. And remember, you need to change the display, the icon of the display, here it is. Change it a little bit bigger. On real metal, of course, no need to do this. Virtual box, right? So you still have all that. And then if you th see things you don't like, you put in a script, sudo pacma minus r and remove it. We log out. And now here's the thing, right? Oh yeah, baby. Anything you have copy pasted from the Calamaris configuration files is now on the ISO. No internet required. Common sense some workflow and somebody explaining the workflow. Done. Super T, Super Shift Enter, Super X, Escape, Super Shift Q, Super Q, Super D, Super Shift D, Escape, Super X, Shut Down. That's it. We've created ourselves a ISO based on the net that's what i would suggest least amount of work and then of course you can remove things from the iso simply by going to the file the packages x86 and remove anything you didn't like right in, in advance firefox i so hate firefox put a hashtag in front of it will not be on the iso as simple as that all right Enjoy building. I have to tell you, this is the one video that I'm gonna make, right? Because in the essence, in essence, it's no browser anymore. Here. In essence, it's all the same. I can keep making hundreds of videos, but building your own ISO is just one video that will come beneath here and if we're talking about something else, all you do is a different copy paste. This is the desktop. We decided to copy paste chat WM. If you want to have a combined Mate with um, XFCE or even, no, I wouldn't, or something else, right? Just add it to the list. As simple as that. Let's take i3. Doesn't make sense to take a desktop, right? To it's it's big, but the tiling window managers are super interesting to add something with something. This would be my list for creating a Arconet with i3 free installed. That's maybe the best way to to say it in English. Eh? 
it's pre-installed. It's already there. What you see is what you'll get. That's for the beach. That's the offline look. And now the bees make sense, maybe, because if you build them yourself, you also have i3. It's just a workflow thing. Somebody needs to tell you how it's done and then you build it and you got your own personal ISO. You test it out first and then you burn it for later. Put it on the shelf. All right, cheers.